Hi, I'm Chip Rome with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you're watching In the Know. For this episode, we are in Scottsdale, and we're here at the Geyer Performing Arts Center. They have this beautiful little park right here, and joining me is Mary Yeager. Hello, Mary. Hi there, Chip. Yeah, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, and Mary is actually with the Scottsdale Historical Society, and Scottsdale has been a busy place uh, the, the last, I guess, six months. Yeah, well, a little bit further even than that. Yeah. Uh, they're celebrating their 150th anniversary, which technically took place in February okay. of 2024, but they started celebrating last September, and it's going to carry through until this September at the Fall Festival. Yeah, it's a big, big celebration. That's a lot. That's a lot of years. It is. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you, if you will, talk about. You have a. It's called plain air painting. Which, yes. That was a new word for me. So we're going to kind of <laughs> dig into that a little bit. But talk about what this historical society is offering when it comes to painting. Okay. Well, as far as an art aspect of the year-long celebration, we're having four plain air painting events, and they start in May and they continue throughout the summer, okay. May, June, July, and August. And then we're gonna to top it off with a show at the Fall Festival. Okay, so you uh, talk about what, what is plein air painting? Plein air started with the Impressionist in France, and what it means is to be outdoors painting. Okay. Simple as that. Painting in the outdoors. So you're probably doing some type of landscape painting? Yeah, yeah, most likely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now you have four locations. You want to talk about those locations and sure. the dates of where people can, can go for those? Yeah. So we have four locations, as you said. We're starting out in Scottsdale, and that is May 18th. Um, all these days are Saturday. And then uh, the next one is at West Overton and that one is on June 8th. And then for July, um, that would be July 20th, we're gonna come back to Scottsdale. Okay. And then August uh, 17th, we're going to be at Maple Bottom Farms in Dawson, which is just outside of Scottsdale. Yeah. So each location, locations. yeah, they each have a something specific about them. Uh -huh. uh, Scottsdale itself is a great location, the architecture, mm -hmm. not just our downtown area, but we have some wonderful historic homes. You too. Big we, homes. Yes. <laughs> big homes that are single family still. Yeah. Uh, which is uncommon these days. Yeah. Uh, we also have industrial sites, which are fun to paint. Uh, if you go to Chestnut Park or to the elementary school, you have a wonderful mountain vista with the town of Scottsdale below it. So there's a lot of opportunity for artists here. Yeah. Now you said these are all Saturday dates. Is there a time for those? What time are those? Yeah, happen? we would like people, artists, to either check in online on the Scottsdale Historical Society website or they can check in the day of. Now okay. for Scottsdale, check-in will be at the gazebo. Okay, and that's, and that's the first one, May 18th. Correct, and okay. that is at the library and we would like them to check in between 10 and 12, okay. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The website for the Historical Society, what, what is the address for that? Real easy. ScottdaleHistoricalSociety.com. It is very easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you have some other dates, like dates when people have to deliver artwork on those. Do you want to talk a little bit about those things? Yes. So we have four different events. The registration fee is only $10. You can pay it at the time you register, or you can go on the Scottsdale Historical website and do it. There is a service charge for the credit card. But anyways, that ten dollars covers all four events. That's great. That's that's really economical. Yeah. Well, the only thing we ask is you, um, you exhibit at least one painting from those four events into the show. Okay. And that painting can be for sale, which we would like it to be, and uh, the Stor historical society will collect a twenty-five percent commission. Okay. Because they are putting out a lot of money for this event. Yes, yes, they are. And so this show is going to be at the Fall Festival, is that correct? It is correct. And it will be at the Elks, which is right in the heart of the festival area. They've been very generous to allow us to use room. Okay. Two if we need them. Yeah. We hope. Hopefully you will. That would be yeah. good. <laughs> and the Fall Festival, I think it's like the third week of September, I believe. It is. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you mentioned, uh, well, I guess there are other dates. So there's a. You want to go on with those dates of yeah. yes yeah, so uh, we are asking the artwork to be turned in the beginning of the week and each artist will get detailed information about it but we're going to have a judge 
uh, Jackie Marino from the Greensburg Art Center. She will judge the show on Thursday, and we will have an opening. Okay. Um, which is open to the public, but we didn't want to confuse it with all the fall festival activities. Right. And we'd like to have the prizes announced before it starts. Okay. So that's and the day before the fall festival. That's, that's correct. The, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. Yeah, it'll be here before we know it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you mentioned there's a $10 fee, but there's also an opportunity to win some prizes, too. So there's awards. There is. Uh, we have three different categories, and they're based on ages. Uh, there's the adult category, and um, then we have high school, um, and then we have elementary. We would love to have the kids join us and um, distribute or show their artwork as well, but the prizes will differ depending on the category. Uh -huh. All told, we have a thousand dollars in prizes. Okay, and that's money or all awards. provided by the Historical Society. That's correct. Yeah. yeah, and then that commission that they collect would help to to pay to some defer of that. that cost. Yes, that yes. would be good too. And you mentioned there's a Greensburg Art Center that's involved too. Well, they are displaying the prospectus. Okay. At uh, their location, and. Um, I've been involved with them for some years now. Uh, it's a great group, and that's where I learned about plain air. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, if someone wants to get involved, is there a deadline to register? Like, how, how soon should they register before that first May 18th date? Uh, they can register the morning of. Okay. So just if it doesn't have to be in any time. That's okay. right. That's Let's good. say they missed the date in May. Yeah. Well, come on out in June to yeah. West Overton. That's okay. Yeah. What do they get for the $10? Like, uh, any materials that they will need? No, or, okay. they bring all their own materials. Okay, okay. So Good the, question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure what was provided there. Yeah. I haven't done any painting, but this sounds like it's going to be interesting. As, mm -hmm. uh, this is a new thing. I would imagine you haven't done this before. No, we haven't. Yeah. We've had art shows during the fall festival before. It's been some time. Yeah. But I think at that time there was an art club, and I, I don't believe that's... Uh, uh, active anymore. Yeah, a lot of talent here in yes. uh, the Scottsdale area. There's, this wall, I think, was someone local. I you yes. mentioned. Yes, Terry McNeese painted this, and uh, she's with the Geyer Performing Arts. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we have we have a lot of not enough, but we have a lot of art going on. Yeah, yeah, it's very <laughs> nice. If you don't mind, just give the dates uh, the first date of the first one again, so, so people get that. Well, actually, all four of them. That way. They'll, Someone could kind of come in halfway through if they wanted, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they okay. could. We would like them to register by noon, though, so we know who's here. Okay. And we know who to contact to give them more detailed information on the opening. Okay. Um, so May 18th is mm -hmm. in Scottsdale. Um, meet at the gazebo. There'll be a couple individuals there with a table to sign in. June 8th is West Overton, and we will have a table in front of the museum to register there. July 20th, back in Scottsdale again at uh, the gazebo, which is right beside the library. And then August 17th at Maple Bottom Farms yeah. outside in Dawson. And for more information, just go to the website, the Historical yeah. Society website. Yes, yeah. that would be great. And Maple Bottom Farms in August has a fantastic wildflower display. Okay. So there's a lot of painting opportunities there as well. Yeah. Well, looking forward to seeing the finished product. Yes. And uh, we'll be here at the Armstrong to sponsor the Fall Festival. So we'll be here. Have to check out all the art and see what happens. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> we wish you well with the uh, project here. Thank you very much. And yeah. thanks for the opportunity. You're very welcome. And now you're in the know.